Well, as most of us do know by now, uh, it's award season and not a spring chick. It is basically tied up with doing uh, interviews and stuff for the next week, so you just got me to like it used to be. But we have some breaking news for you today. Is viral video on the way out? Uh, probably as the way you know what it is, because uh, Google, who owns YouTube, may be targeting a new market, offering digital rentals of movies and television shows supported by advertising. You know, it's tried it before and hasn't went anywhere, but right now it's locking up uh, streaming rights to various videos, various feature films and TV shows, which might lead to a revamp of the YouTube video site and turn it a platform for digital content rental. They have been playing with the thought of um, purchasing Hulu, which would basically give them a, a platform that they could use uh, to break into the system with because it's already created and already has a name. If you notice, if you're on YouTube, you might notice that changes are being made to see made to see which video providers mesh with the advertisers they currently have and which ones they don't have. You know, will there be changes in viral video? I'm probably guessing that that's going to happen, folks. In viral video, as you've known it before, it will soon cease to exist. Um, we have, uh, actually, we're, we're doing all Obama news today. Um, Obama would hack, tie, hack taxes to pay for a jobs bill. Well, he now considers a millionaire as someone who makes $200,000 a year, which basically includes every virtually every small business in the country now. So, <clears throat> but, you know... Uh, he says uh, uh, that he, Obama says Americans reject Tea Party ideas. Well, let's see, that's to cut spending, to uh, just you know, just simply do what's best for the country. Yeah, I guess that they reject all of that. Uh, here's another one. <clears throat> this, like I said, it's all Obama today. Uh, Obama is the most pro-business president in American history. His his continued, you know, uh, cutting of regulations, continued of cutting of taxes, his continued support for the small businessman makes him the most uh, pro-business. Well, basically, uh, let's see what it is. He's, it's now being called. Uh, besides Obamacare, we now have Obama. Uh, what is it? Uh, regulations nations under Obama. 25 new regulations a day being published to restrict businesses. Um, basically, oh, Obama is a silent tax cutter. He has cut taxes for 94% of the people in this nation. Well, actually, since that's virtually impossible, since 50% 50 don't pay taxes, you just, it's basically Obama math again, which basically means that if, you, if you're a product of the democratic uh, educational system in this nation, it means you have to take, you have to count on both hands and take one shoe off to count to one. That's how you can get to 94% of the people have had taxes cut when 50% of the people pay no taxes at all. Oh, on the latest one, Obama's tax proposal to save Social Security. Well, the Social Security advocate said by cutting payroll taxes, which is where Social Security is basically coming from, it damages Social Security. But his supporters will say, well, it, you know, it's basically been in deficit for years anyway, so it's not going to make any difference. The government will just continue to pay the money whether there's any money there. I mean, I think that's what everybody's complaining about. They just don't get the message. But um, uh, here's one, though. Obama burning up the printing presses with 20, 20 new anti-business regulations a day, which leads to the point, like I said before, they're actually saying he's the most pro-business president in the nation's history, and yet he publishes new regulations on a daily basis to restrict the ability of a business to work. I mean, basically, he uh, he basically d uh, changed the regulations on um, on on carbon dioxide, and they published new regulations restricting coal plants, which basically is going to cause for higher energy costs and um, put more people out of work. Um, Obama's job plan spritz leaders of strap states. Well, Republican leaders are just jumping on the plan because you know, we're going to get money to pay our teachers, we're going to get money to pay our police officers, we're going to get money to pay our firefighters, and we're not going to have to pay our bills so we can spend the money that we will be paying there on more union jobs. Yeah, you know, I, I've got a union job over in Culver City that's a butte. They're putting in pavers, paver walk, they tore out the beautification project and put a lot of ugly concrete in and then to make the concrete look better they are per, they put paver walkways in on a street that basically semi trucks go up and down and uh, pavers cannot stand the weight so um, 
Let's see. Obama reads from Bible during nine, New York City 9-11 ceremony to prove he's a Christian. Well, it proves he can read. You know, I'm, I'm, I've known lots of Muslims that read from the Bible because it's, an edu- it's a history book. It's all it is is a history book. And I know a lot of Christians read the Koran because it's a history book. Um, Democrats might lose Anthony Weiner's seat. Blame Bush and the Tea Party, not Obama. It, you know, if they lose it, it's not a referendum on Obama. It's a referendum for change. That Anthony Weiner basically was too tied to George Bush and the Tea Party, which is why the Democrats stood so firmly to remove him from office, because the Tea Party people are always pulling things like Weiner did. Um, uh, here's a good one too. Let's see. Obama taxes to remain if the super committee won't cut Republican programs to kill these taxes. Said in order not to have the taxes, you have to find another 500 billion, uh, 500 billion in cuts. The only place they're going to be allowed to cut is in defense and other programs like that. Um, Another one, they said that Obama is perfectly, his, his economic people, they said Obama is perfectly willing to discuss changes in what he's talked about in the jobs program as long as it doesn't cut programs that are off the, you know, there are programs that are off the books. So it has to be programs that, uh, that basically, you know, 500, you know, 500 billion in cuts, you know, it cannot be Social Security, Medicare, Obamacare, any of these things. So that's not going to happen, folks. Um, Bernanke disappointment pushes Wall Street lower. Well, because there's nothing left in the, they say there's nothing left in the quiver. The arrows have all been shot. I mean, right now we've got the market. The, basically, it looks like Greece is going to default. That uh, that China is basically on the verge of buying Italy, which basically puts them into the Russians' domain, and Russia doesn't like it. All of Europe's markets are totally in a state of collapse. The Asian markets are in a collapse. Uh, our market is going up as it always does, shall we say, inversion program. Uh, basically, what Americans want to hear about nine about nine eleven, well, they want to stop hearing about it. I mean, my, I lost family members there, folks, and I really don't want to continue to be pounded on a daily basis, reminding. I don't, you know, I don't think a lot of the Alamo. I don't remember the Maine. You know, my father was a Pearl Harbor. You know, um, I, I also had members who were basically parts of the Holocaust. I really get tired of my family telling me, you know, you're not a good little Jewish person because you don't want to, you don't remember the Holocaust. People got killed. There's a, there's a part of a part of my family that's you know Irish and German. Basically, you get you simply keep your things to yourself and you move on. Let it be private, not made into a public thing continually. Um, basically, we got uh, Japan Pixie Dotto with train miniature at their predecessor's gaff, which basically means they can't find anybody in Japan that can halt the problem with the economy falling backwards. But um, Japan had a lost decade. We're basically running into the second lost decade because mostly it's the government printing money in order keeping the country going. Um, newly released uh, full 9-11 you know, uh, taste for 9-11 in the air. Well, yeah, we know that people were screaming. I mean, I, I have a relative uh, that basically stopped um, uh, hijacking uh, back after 9-11 because he simply told people, so you don't turn your, he said there's, uh, there's like 200, you know, 100 of us and there's three of them. And as long as you don't turn your back on any of them, what are they, they're, they're, they're afraid of you. So um, they got the new neck surgery means more rehab for Archie Manning. I mean, for uh, Peyton Manning. I mean, his his you know he signed this huge contract which should never have been signed without a physical to see what shape he was in. And but don't worry, they're blaming it on Bush and the Republicans though because Bush and the Republicans didn't uh, supported the owners. They didn't allow training camp to be open. If training camps would have been open, it would have been different. Well, no. The guy's got a zillion dollars, and most of the players are making a million bucks a year. If they can't get personal trainers to get them in shape, you got a problem, folks. Um, let's see. Uh, Romney, uh, Romney and Bachman supposedly win the debate against Perry. Well, Perry has ideas that are not popular, such as Social Security. It doesn't really work, but who cares about that? You know, um, John Edwards' trial delayed until January. And it, it, when you keep putting trials off and putting trials off, it means they're making a deal. But um, 
We have um, multi-bubbleism from the march for the animal kingdom. You can only fool people at the same con so many times unless you're a politician, and you run in the same fool job your entire career. Uh, 